and welcome back. This is Bali Google with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm joined as always by my near end game party of Bart's Reina Krill and Ferris. When we last left off, I was doing side quests. We're gonna be doing some more today, but first I need to make up for a couple things that I missed here in the island shrine. If you remember, I did this when I was a little bit sick. That was probably not a good idea. Uh, we need to head in here, and we can grab ourselves the Beast Killer first and foremost. This is the third floor, first entrance to the third floor in the dungeon. I'll meet you at the top floor where I missed more chests. Okay, back on the top floor of the dungeon. And if I can avoid battles, I can get a couple treasure chests that I had missed here. Once again, thanks to Crash B 2007 for pointing out that I missed those. I honestly thought I got them. There's a dark matter on the left. And if we can make it over to the right side, no, of course not. But if we could make it over here, there is another treasure chest on this side with a circlet inside. Those are the two that were pointed out to me that I did miss. Once again, sorry about that. Thought I did get them. Should know better than to do sessions when I'm sick. All right, I'll meet you back outside on my airship. Back outside of the sealed castle. Why the sealed castle? Because I'm cheap and they heal me for free. Uh, we need to head north from here to get to our next destination. Once we get to this, we can start following it west and north. And we are going back to the cave. Do you remember this cave? The Jackal Cave, of course. Uh, we need to go through it once again in search of, well, something new that is here in the merged world. Things do change in the merged world. Same enemies, though. Same gray-ass squirrels. Gray-ass squirrels that run away any given moment. Now, there was a trick to this one. Here it is. And that opens up the path, of course. Do you remember that trick? It was such a long time ago. That should open up the path for us up on the right here. And if we go through this door... Oh, that's right. Push the switch in the box, then we can go through the door. Forgot about that. Now we can head through the door right here. And continue on through. Now you might remember that this seemed to be a dead end. It is not a dead end anymore. Of course, since the world merged, things changed as I went over before. So let's continue to the back where the dead end was before, and we'll see what has changed now. If I could stop getting into battles along the way, that would definitely be appreciated. Looks like just one more. Hopefully with the battles out of the way, we can climb this wall. You didn't think you could do that. And we have entered what seemed to be the ruins of some temple or shrine here before. Uh, you can't walk over a lot of this, so it's a little bit of a zigzag pattern to the end. Do we have new enemies in here? We do! We have rock statues! And I am not properly set up for things that I have to try against, probably. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Of course, Bart is going to save me no matter what I do. He is on the Brave Blade with S-Shot. He destroys everything. It's just what he does. Look at that damage. That's back row damage. It does 1,200 normally. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ferris, get a swords dance off. Temp Tango, as you saw before, did not work. Why would you try it again? You don't learn, do you, Ferris? You just never learn. Of course, Reyna, I have as a trainer, that definitely needs to change. Still can't steal. Break. Oh. You dick. S shot, go! You should probably hit the one in front. Yeah, it does more damage that way. Down, they all go. Reyna loses on the experience once again. You get 1,014 gil, 66 experience, and 4 ability points, which means Ferris does get that job off of that I was looking for. Ferris can now dance. No, I must dance. It's not that useful an ability, but I wanted to give it to somebody, you know? So hold on while I change my party around a bit here, and I think I still need to heal... I need to give Reyna soft, I think, still, outside of battle. 
did need to use that soft on Reyna, and I have switched Ferris back to the Black Mage. I do actually need to try for what's coming up very, very shortly. In terms of what abilities you do learn, Dance was the level 2 ability for Dancer. You can dance the Forbidden Dance. Level 1 is Flirting. You can arouse your enemy, so that is how women keep on staying away from me. Surely that is the reason. Alright, we need to continue on and get more fights. Are there more new enemies? I always forget. Not this time. But let's continue on. We need to head up to the top here. Hopefully there's not too much more of this. There isn't. I think I am ready. Even though it's not my best setup, I think I am ready to take on what I'm going to call a summon because we have seen summons out of this before. Which summon would this be? You think you can beat me, huh? I'll give you exactly one minute. Now one second more, got it? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and it is boss time. We're up against Odin. Now, Odin is definitely an interesting guy. Um... It is a fight unlike any that we have seen before. He actually does give you just one minute to do all this work. Uh, we shouldn't have too much difficulty with it uh, because I have it on weight. Uh, as you can see, the battle music really picked up there. Uh, when I'm selecting things, it shouldn't... Uh, I don't know if that's actually the most efficient way, but either way, we're going to do S-Shot with the Brave Blade and it does a massive amount of damage. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous here. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Krill is pretty much going to be useless for me in this fight. Um, we're pretty much focusing on Ferris and Bart here. Now, I don't think... Yeah, Flare is probably not the best thing for me to do here. Uh, but I should be able to still pull this off with Bart's next S-shot here. Vengeance Sword. Not enough for the victory. S shot, however, does almost 5,000 damage. 4,800. Go no further. And down he goes with two seconds to spare. So even with without the best setup possible, it's it's very simple once you have the brave blade and a shot. And we get ourselves Odin out of that. And I know I kind of spoiled that a little bit uh, by going over what the magic lamp did, but really it's Final Fantasy. There's going to be an Odin, just like there's going to be a Bahamut. Does he actually show up? Yeah, he actually shows up without me having to use the item, which is always nice. This is starting to fill in nicely, as you can see. It looks like we have three more to go. But we should get those relatively shortly. It's time for me to warp on out of here. I will meet you after I have healed. All healed and saved and ready to go. A couple things before we go, though. Uh, Odin is immune or absorbs? I believe he absorbs holy damage. Either way, don't use holy. Uh, don't use Excalibur. Don't use Holy Lance. Don't use the spell holy, definitely. None of those will work out well for you. Number two, should you go for the Brave Blade route like I did, you cannot run once you get the Brave Blade. It will still decrease in power for every time you run. So that's something that you'll have to keep in mind if you go that route. You can never run, ever. Now we are ready to move on. Our next destination is not very far away, but it is underground. We are headed for the Sunken Walls Tower. There it is. As a result of what's going to happen, I did change Reyna over to a thief again, so we can try to finish that one out. Let's go ahead and go inside. God, it's so fast. Oh, crap, we're underwater. That's right. Don't take it too easy. You only have seven minutes. So, let's run to victory. Running always wins. Just fall down there. Out the front door here. Uh, go! No! Damn it, I don't want to get into fights. I'm on a time limit here. And we are up against 
rusted enemies, it looks like. Let's go ahead and mug from them if I can. Down they go. Hopefully these guys shouldn't... Well, hopefully they're not too difficult. Damn it, Krill, I should just have you defend. It'll save me time. You're not, you're not being useful right now anyway. Ferris, bonus damage? Nice. Doesn't always hit. Very low accuracy on, on that rod. And then hopefully this thing dies to a massive amount of damage from S-Shot. As it should. As it should. Rusted enemies gone. 401 gil, 192 experience, 3 ability points. I need to rush through this. As the game... The game cannot handle, like, moving the sprites like that. Moving backgrounds. It just can't do it. Dark bow. Hooray. Exactly what I wanted. What am I going to do with that? We're just going to move on. Down. And did I not get that treasure chest? What the hell? That's going to bug me. Did I get it? Where's the path in? No, I'm getting that fucker. How do I get... How do I get in... Hold on. Okay, so in order to get in there, I believe, yeah, there are the stairs. So let's head up here and see what is in that treasure chest. I thought I had gotten everything here. Oh, I found a hoo-ha. Uh, it looks like I'll, found, uh, I'll last seven minutes. Okay, so it just resets the timer. That's good to know. So I found a box of air. Useful when you're underwater. And almost no time else. Maybe space. But still. Does not come up on a daily basis. It's just all rusted enemies here. Alright, let's just head down these stairs here. And we can make it to a crystal shard. This crystal shard gives me great power. Now back off while you still can. I will not. Tick, tick, tick. And it is... Boss time? Yeah, let's go with boss time. It is Go-Go! My name is Go-Go, Copy copycat extraordinaire. The art of impersonation requires mimicry. Therefore, I shall copy all that you do. A fight for a fight. And a spell for a spell. Sounds very threatening, doesn't it? Could you but imitate me? You would certainly win. And that's pretty much how you are supposed to win. You're supposed to imitate him. Which means do nothing. Because Gogo -Go is a mimic. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with mimic in Final Fantasy lore, pretty much mimics don't do anything by themselves. They just kind of hang out until somebody else attacks. Then they can mimic that. And they will do exactly what the last person did. Uh... Sometimes useful. It, it, it is difficult to get used to it. Uh, sometimes to get used to to using mimic appropriately and effectively. But once you get it, I mean, it is pretty much vital to any ultimate party strategy. Having you know one person as a summoner that can summon Bahamut, and then somebody ha being a mimic, being able to to mimic that summon of Bahamut over and over for no MP. You know, one person doing the ultimate thing and then everybody else mimicking it. It usually works out very, very nicely. However, in order to beat a mimic, apparently I just am supposed to do nothing. I'm, I'm doing exactly what he is doing, which is nothing. And yes, we are going to be here forever. So, I'm going to cut to the end of this battle because who wants to sit here and watch me do this for another two minutes.